This isn't simply about saying the right words and speaking the love language. It's what should it look like? So if you feel like, you know what? I can get on board with this. I can go back to work and I can talk the love talk. Don't, unless you're willing to do this. It's pronounced dwizzywid. Which stands for what, would you guess? Do what you say you will do. You know that word accountability? Have you heard it before? Here's the way I typically hear it used. Accountability is that thing that we desperately want other people to take. Right? These people need to be more accountable. That may be true. But do what you say you will do. Dwizzywid is about holding ourselves 100% ridiculously accountable to our own words. We've called this any number of things over the years. We've called it walk your talk. We've called it practice what you preach. We've called it put your money where your mouth is or lead by example, whatever. I need to make sure that my words and my actions are congruent. That when the words come out of my mouth, people see the behaviors that line up with them in the way that I act. Because if I say one thing and do another, at the very least, I'm going to confuse you. And at the very worst, I'm going to completely disengage you and turn you into a cynic. Now listen, guys, I'm not saying it's fair. None of us is perfect. But it's a fact. It's an undeniable, indisputable fact. You are being watched. The minute you step into a leadership role, people watch everything you do. When I say everything, I am not exaggerating. Not only do they watch your body language and facial expressions, but they watch the way you interact with customers. They watch the way you make decisions. They watch the way you run meetings. They watch the way you allocate resources. They watch the way you give out feedback, both positive and constructive. They watch all of that, and then they compare it to your words. In other words, the things that you're telling me I should be doing, and they compare it to our words as an organization, our values and mission and all of that. So if, if you tell me that hospitality is the main thing, but I don't see it, then this whole thing falls apart. This, this has to do with, with our own personal credibility. And without credibility, we have nothing. So if you look around yourself at work and say, you know what? We could raise our standards here. We could, we could go from being really good and, and having you know, a good hospitality experience into, into this, this arena that people really genuinely fully, wholeheartedly love what we do, and we're not there yet, first place I need to look is, am I, <laughs> am I the walking, talking, living, breathing example of that myself? And if I am, that gives me the credibility to demand that of others. This is about raising standards, not about lowering them. This is about creating, creating a, 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 a uh, a bar that we all need to leap up to in order to, to reach. So here is the last question that I'll pose for you, personal question that I'll pose for you today. How can I personally demonstrate what I or we require of others? This is what, what it all comes down to. So if we're really cultivating love, if we're really putting that out there as, as the standard it's a fulfilling and very challenging journey for each of us individually and all of us collectively. You guys have, have an extraordinary company. Uh, you are fortunate beyond measure uh, to be in an organization that is already creating a standard that is encouraging people to live their hearts fully in their work. And it's been an honor to spend this time with you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.